Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. What it is, a near production version of the Link and Co 03 concept, first previewed last April by the newly created Geely subsidiary with the Link and baiting name. Some of the concept's exterior elements have been modified for production, such as the larger side view mirrors and the rear bumper with its low mounted reflectors. Dual exhaust tip spoke out below the bumper which now incorporates a wide strip that appears to house the reverse lamps. The O3's front is positively amphibian, the side profile is stubby and ungainly, and the back is as bland as envelope adhesive. Clearly, Link & Co. is not going to impinge on fellow Geely brand Volvo's position as a design leader. Still, we're not brushing it off, as this ordinary compact sedan has an extraordinary business plan backed by billions of dollars. Why it matters, Zhejiang Geely Holding Group is a private Chinese conglomerate that owns Volvo, the US-based flying car company Terrafugia, the formerly British company that built London Black Cabs, and most of Lotus, as well as a ride-sharing service in its home market. Lincoln Co. could fail miserably, and Geely wouldn't even wobble. Still, the company is betting big with the Link & Co. brand which plans to field this sedan alongside two crossovers labeled O1 and O2. The idea is to tempt young urban Americans with a subscription-style lease plan, no dealerships, an unlimited warranty, app-based services, and a cut-rate price. You could consider Link & Co. a Chinese Saturn for the modern age. Platform, Volvo's compact modular architecture, CMA, which underpins the 2019 XC40 crossover is the reason Geely bought the Swedish automaker in the first place. It's a solid platform guaranteed to meet the most stringent crash test requirements in any market. The entry luxury Link & Co 03 wouldn't have any credibility if it were riding on a dated Geely chassis. Powertrain, 3 and 4 cylinder turbocharged engines, along with hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and battery electric options, are possible with the CMA platform. Expect the O3 to debut with hybrid motivation, with other Volvo engineered powertrains to follow. Competition Chevrolet Cruze, Ford Focus, Honda Civic, Nissan Sentra. Estimated arrival and price Expect the O3 in the United States in 2020 and beyond. It'll be on sale in China and Europe sooner. Geely wants to launch the O1 crossover in San Francisco, with the O2 crossover and the O3 sedan next in line. For now, details on leasing or subscription pricing, and how Link & Co's factory-owned stores strategy will play out, are anyone's guess. Or, as with so many other Chinese automakers eyeing the US market, it might never happen. Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.